Okay, uh, it's been a while since I've done a video. I hope I don't forget how to do this. I um, have been very busy doing artwork for a project and I got a lot done this month because I was snowed in and didn't go out very much. So I got a lot done, which was great. And uh, I decided to, um, I was going to do a uh, Margaret Peterson um, video, which I will do next. I had some thoughts about Margaret Peterson. Um, so anyways, I'm just going to do a really short thing about artwork and selling artwork. I do sell a lot of my artwork. And uh, one of the best things that someone mentioned to me just in this past year, I've been doing artwork for 10 years and selling my artwork for 10 years, but um, I went to a class with Bob Burridge, Bob Blast. He's on, um, he has a great, great um, YouTube channel. That's Bob Blast. I put a link, but I'm not sure how to do, do that yet. But anyways, uh, all his videos are online. They're, they're wonderful. And I took a class from him uh, this past year, which was fabulous. But he said a very interesting thing, and, and it's true if you're selling your artwork. What you want to do is, you know, you, you, what you do is you buy canvases, you work with paper, and you paint, and then you have something you like, and then you decide to sell it. And then you, so then you want to go on a search of how to frame it, how to um, ship it, uh, you know, how you're going to mat it, how you're going to, uh, uh, what, what are you going to use on the, on the front of it as far as a fixative or um, uh, if you want to put like a, a sealant on it. So there's a lot of things that you have to think about. And he mentioned, and it's very true, and I did it for the first time now, is when you think about painting, do your paintings a certain size where you know ahead of time how you're going to mat it, how you're going to frame it, and how you're going to ship it. So those things that we think of at the end product as part of the end product, think about it before you even start. So when you start with a, a substrate, you know if it's a, a 5 by 7 or if it's an 8 by 10 or if it's a, a 11 by 14. I mean, you know what your options are. Just doing things on, on a canvas or wood or paper and uh, not considering how it's going to be presented is is foolhardy because you could spend a lot of time just trying to find you know the right frame the right all the right stuff you need to send it off so um, I follow that and I did it uh, right now I'm doing the product that I was on I was doing everything the same size and um, this is one of the paintings that I will uh, put up for sale in my in my uh, shop my Miss, Mrs. Plum's Art Emporium this is a watercolor uh, the paper size is, uh, it's like, I think five and a half by, by eight maybe. And they're all the same size. So all these paintings I did, I did 50 paintings this month. And um, they're not all frameable, but this one I thought was very frameable. And it, it fits into a nice frame like this. The frame came, it was a dollar. It was at the dollar store, Dollar Tree. I mean, it's not the most upscale, but it's it's a nice presentation, and it came with its own little uh, mat for it, and it, it's also floating in this frame, which is is very cool. So the do, the I had the paint, I had the paper, I knew what size I was working with, and I had the frame in case I wanted to sell it. So knowing that, you know, it, you're way ahead of the game. So when you do have a painting you want to sell, you already have the frame. You're not looking around for a frame. Um, so this was a Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree has wonderful frames. Oh, this is another picture I did. And so here's just the frame it came in. Very simple. You know, it's not, it's not the most upscale. But you can do this for anything. If you want to get your mat and your mat boards, um, think about what size you want to work with and then order and order those. Order the ones that you uh, then make a paper size to fit whatever you have to, to frame it with. So if you're doing... Um, a mat board and a, a backing, you know, figure the, figure out what you want to buy, figure out what you, how much money you have to buy those, and then fit your papers or your canvas uh, to fit that, that size. So you're already done, rather than trying to move around and do that. So here we go. Here's a, you know, it took a, no time. It's nice and, um, it's a simple frame. It's a little floating. Because I got there's a little backing that's underneath the painting and this uh, this mat board, a little mat. It's not a mat board. It's just a little mat picture, mat frame. And so here's a nice little painting. 
you know, I would sell this for maybe $20, 20 or $30. This was a practice painting. So um, that's one, one thing to think of is how you're going to um, sell the product you're making. And if you're going to, if you know what the frame size is, you can cut the paper to fit that frame and then do your paintings. And so then you can go to the, you know, the, like I, I bought about 10 of these. So I'll send, sell them and uh, they're all ready to go. I just pop them in there and, and they're ready to go. I hope this has been helpful. Uh, it's helpful for me. I mean, it's, if you do market your, um, it's been helpful for me. So now I have these beautiful frames. They were a dollar. Uh, I got the paintings in them, you know, sell them for like $20, $25, $30 at a, at a farmer's market. That's where I sell my stuff. Anyways, food for thought. Have a great day. Thanks.